So you can see a lot of uh, trading in the adaptation from these two in this match, I believe. All right, we're starting off on Pokemon Stadium 2. Okay, and that's the thing. Here it took go. me like years of Smash 4 to realize that Greninja is actually saying Greninja during all these attacks. It's really cute. I didn't know Greninja. that. Wow. Wow. Now you can't you can't unhear it. You'll never that. unhear it. <laughs> Once I noticed that the first time, I never unhear it's it. It's like wow, it sounds so much clearer now. Before yeah. it was like mumbling. <laughs> and now it's like clear Greninja. Wow. God, Pokemon music is so great. You just distracted uh, <laughs> me for this entire set. <laughs> well, they're pretty even so far. Thanks uh, a lot. <laughs> Venya with a slight percent lead so far. Gonna come down to who can seal out stocks consistently in this matchup. Okay, nice parry. Good parry into jump away. Uh, yeah, I mean, get that I mean, first month of ultimate stuff going. Exactly, Jay. And that's. Ooh, that was good. Sometimes that's what you gotta do. Parrying doesn't always mean you're gonna be able to punish the attack. Right. Sometimes it just it makes you safe. The hard he call out. read his life just now. <laughs> he started charging that up smash before Venya landed. The entire next year of Venya's life has just been read by Jen. <laughs> and just there you go. Insane. Nice job by Jen. Great tech chase slash roll read slash whatever else that was. Um, and there we see the getup attack. Getup attacks, again, invincible until the hitbox comes out in this game. Mm -hmm. But I think it's an interesting change. Gives them a little more purpose. They're, yeah. they're pretty bad at top level in Smash 4 by the end, so yeah. you didn't I like see that, that change. Too often. It was a super duper hard uh, mix up. Crazy mix up where it was like all or nothing. I'm still blown away every time Palu can do something with F2. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm so not used to it. I love it. I mean, it's, it's a good move, man. Palu's good, okay? Okay, it looks like uh, Jen DI'd out on that dash attack. Wasn't able to get hit with the uh, dub smash afterwards. So I guess there is some counterplay to that. Okay. Running F2. Okay, Jen playing really safe. He hasn't punished a lot of these things on shield that uh, Venya is throwing out. And it doesn't seem like those things are safe. Um, nonetheless, let's see what he does about that. How he adapts to that in this, uh, this, this stop. I don't know if he was going for a warp cancel, but if so, he missed it right there. Just goes back into the middle of the stage. Doesn't get hard punished for yeah. it, though. Pretty good. Uh, opting to get out of disadvantage, so I'll take it. Really good option coverage here from Jen. We'll see how far he can push this. There you go. And that's that's a frame trap at a lot of percentages. Because you either get hit with the fair, you have to air dodge out towards the blast zone and get spiked, or you have to air dodge in and get re-grabbed. So. I'd like to see more people try to air dodge at the ledge. Nice. Like, in the direction of it. And uh -huh. see if that would work. Oh, okay, so like air dodge straight down? Like straight down, or depending on where you are, maybe down and away, down okay. and in. Um, I don't know. I mean, just nah, something, something, that, to, something to see. In theory, it seems like it'll work. Just since we've seen really the same option a lot of times. We've seen everyone air dodging through him so far. Did you see the spacing on those down tilts? Look at really this. Good. Oh my god, what are you going to do? <laughs> he literally just creeps up to his shield and just starts slapping the bottom this, of this it. This little <laughs> frog just walks up and starts kicking <laughs> you in the ankles. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> Or punching you, I can't tell. Right? Uh, <laughs> I can't tell which ones are a punch and which ones a kick on the ground sometimes. That's really funny. Right? Oh, I like the idea. See? Gets the parry. That, but wasn't able to punish it. Well, he could have punished. He oh, just he, couldn't yeah, punish with a forward smash. Exactly. Yeah. He could have punished with, like, turnaround jab or dash attack oh, or something. Uh, and that's just a thing where, as, you know, as we get farther into this game, people will know what they can and can't do out of a parry. Exactly. If you parry something really laggy, go ahead and forward smash it. If you parry something very quick like that, that would normally be safe, You'll have time to punish it a lot of the time, but you won't have time to forward smash. You might just have time to, well, I would say forward tilt, but it's Palutena. Yeah. Uh, right. So something I mean, along those lines. Now, though, it, it does work now. It's still not the fastest, but it's a lot faster. Uh -huh. It probably would have worked in that situation. Here we go. And Venya kind of brought this one back. He, uh, I think that's the first time he, he was touched on that stock, if not the second time. But disadvantage right here. How's he going to make it back to the stage? Opting to up B. I love the angle right there. Goes down and back up. Mm -hmm. Jen doesn't go low enough. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing, uh, Venya can mix up the recovery with uh, Greninja very well, so... Uh, I really like what Venya did there, jumping out of that tech situation instead of teching on the platform, because that could have led to a tech chase up smash or back air or something like that. Instead, he just jumps away, resets neutral. Yeah. Oh, and he called he out the side a little early. Well, and that's the thing, you can't really see the shadow in the air, so that you kind of just that gotta was great. go for it. He got another parry and got a grab out of it. No grab confirm at that percent, though. And the up air nice. will take it. Great read from Jen right there. Just nice. calls out the full hop. And that is the one drawback of Greninja having such a tall full hop. I talked about it a lot in the Mr. E set, yeah. where he would jump like high enough that he was just over the height of Marth's 
control. Yeah. And then Jen just sort of calls out, okay, you're going to jump right to this height. I'm going to exactly. get up there. I'm going to punish you on your exactly. way down. And it takes game one with that. Mm -hmm. And the fact that Palutena is so fast on the ground right. really helped her because he saw it, immediately ran under. And you don't have to you don't have to get the tipper. You don't have to, like, space it out correctly. It's nope. just like a big hitbox. Multi-hit. Just Actually died. connects all the time. <laughs> it did in Smash 4, but just in general, multi-hits are really good at connecting in this game for yeah. the most part. So that's good to see. Mm -hmm. And one, one key difference in this game is rapid jabs and jabs on the ground. You don't kind of, you don't get like popped up. You go into yeah. like this jab animation. This getting like jab getting animation, hit. yeah. So that's really good as well. And you can only like shield or fall out of it if they hold it for a really long time most of the time. Yeah. The vast majority of the time you can't get out of just a, like a normal rapid jab where they don't hold the button. Yeah. So you kind of get stuck like Bayonetta's from Smash 4. Hey, I have to get out of that sometimes. Uh, it was possible. Very, it's very rare, though. It's so hard. I, I play Peach. Oh, floaty. Yeah. Peach <laughs> doesn't count. She's uh, the it's the exception. <laughs> Nonetheless, you can see Venya kind of pressing the issue a little bit more in this set, uh, trying to suffocate Jen a little bit. Um, and I and I believe that's what you want to do to Palutena. Palutena wants you on the other side. She wants to be able to explosive flame you, make you for, force you to make a bad decision. But that range right there, kind of two character lengths away from Palutena, I think right. is the prime area you want to stay to be able to punish Palutena. And that goes back to the thing we were talking about earlier, where like she's really good at like long range and super close range. Yeah. So it's the in between where she sort of has to guess which one you're going to go to next. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to... Oh, that's unfortunate. Drift yeah. a little too low. Yeah. Yeah, like, Wait if you're going to low. run away or jump back, she'll explosive flame or yeah. auto reticle or she something. And if you're going to run in, she's got options to counter you running in. But she has to call out that you're going to and has to call out more or less when you're going to do it. Exactly. And, and that's thing, something Venya can take advantage of yeah. for sure. But if you... Were, you see, they both knew. He saw the Star Taker set. <laughs> <laughs> but, and that's the thing in the neutral uh, with Palutena. If you kind of force the issue and then... That could have been a stop. <laughs> but For if sure, you try to force the issue, that would kill though. Back throw. Um, and kind of retreat out. Palutena has a lot of tools to keep you out again. Once you force the issue and push yourself in, you kind of want to stay in. Even if you don't go all the way in, stay in that range that you took from Palutena and try and take it gradually. Right. A Still catching nares. these landings. Yeah, he has no And jumps, Jen was so. way down in this game. Oh, and he SDs again. I knew he was going to SD. I was going to say he's bringing this back so far mm -hmm. after the SD, but the second SD right there, really unfortunate. Now he has to do it all over again, which good, is very good possible. Good use of the dash attack there, though. And that's what I mean. He has to call out when he's going to come in. Right there, he calls out that Venny's going to jump in with the fair. Counters that with the dash attack. Uh, Pilot's dash attack and back air, just like Smash 4. Fully invincible on the shield if you hit the shield with any part of your hitbox. Yeah. Uh, it will, Palu will beat your move out. Now you can see Jen, uh, Benya doing a lot of things on, uh, wasn't ready Ooh. that time. <laughs> was not ready some hard at right there. Oh, I was not either. That I forgot a, about it for just a moment. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Jen forgot about it because the last time he kind of just baited it. He didn't go all the way out. He kind of just threw right. it out, whiffed it on purpose. And Jen countered. Jen threw out a counter uh -huh. at, one of the, at one point. Yep. They, he did. He threw out a counter that time. So this time... Jen's like, he's no not counter. Do it again. Yeah. He's then he comes out it. for him. It's like, bro, yeah, I am. <laughs> comes all the way out to the blast zone. And we're going to Battlefield. I think it's a good counter pick uh, against Greninja in general. Mm -hmm. Not that Greninja can't do anything with platforms, but just he's a lot scarier with a lack of platforms. Yeah. And this ensures that you're never going to get, you know, Greninja vine, a Japanese vine combo. Exactly. Which is a weird name for it, considering it, you know, Venya was the one doing a lot of that stuff. But, exactly. But that was how it got famous about the character initially. I mean, the Japanese player is known for their meticulous and methodical play style, kind of doing that kind of thing. So. It's, it's why the top Greninja is pretty much, you had like the one here in Venya, uh -huh. you had eye studying, and then a lot of Japanese Greninjas. Exactly. Nonetheless, uh, here we go. I like this I like this stage layout, the bat battlefield, because um, Venya does a lot of like full hops, dropping onto your shield and stuff with exactly. um, nares and aerials. The platforms aren't going to allow him to do that as heavy. If you stay under the back of a platform, uh, or stay, you know, on a platform, sort of move back and forth like that, like Jen is right now. Uh -huh. Ooh, good combo right there. Uh, you really stop Venya from using his normal approaches, and Jen is parrying a lot of things now. He's really catching yeah. on to Venya's patterns. Yeah, it looks good, man. And that's, I think, a really important thing, is how much people are using the, the new mechanics to their advantage. Mm -hmm. And I think Venya is to a degree, for sure. Absolutely. Uh, but, you know, we're not seeing, like, we're not seeing a whole lot of people parry a lot of stuff yet. Mm -hmm. And that's it. We're all, me and Minos were actually talking about that in the set uh, before you came. 
the risk reward is very like unbalanced. Like you can parry Sometimes. things, and yeah, for, for for the most part, dash attack not gonna do it. You can parry things, and you won't you won't necessarily be out of trouble. Like you will right. have to parry a couple of things before you can get out of trouble, and you may not even get full combo out of it. So. But there's some matchups where it's really essential. I think yeah. Sorties are the big one. You Absolutely. Know, someone like an Ike or a Krom trying right. to nair or fair your shield all the time. Mm -hmm. And if you can parry those, then exactly. their aerials aren't safe. And if you don't, then they're always safe on shield. Mm -hmm. And I think Grenade is sort of a lesser version of that, uh -huh. uh, where you can sort of play the normal like dash around with punish kind of game, which uh, which Jin is very good at and always yeah. has been. Uh, but he's also really instituted like parrying when he sees Venya coming at him, and he's been better at it on this stage. Yeah. And I think that goes back to what you were saying. You know, this this really makes uh, makes your angles of approach a lot more predictable. Exactly. Because if you're hiding under one of the platforms and Greninja's trying to come at you through the air, he's only got really like one angle to get to you. You know exactly, exactly. where he's going. Mm -hmm. It's tough. So I really do like this stage, and I'd like to see uh, Jen not SD twice. Yeah. Um, because we kind of forgot that he SD twice. He SD twice last game. Because he brought it all the way back. Yeah, it was very close. With the SDs. So you can see he hasn't SD'd yet, and he's already he's put uh, Venya Almost in a full talk ahead. And there he calls out the side B right there. I'm not sure okay. about the down air instead of the neutral air, but, you know, yeah. everything's yeah. working out for Jen so far, yeah, so definitely. I'm not going to question it now. Staying pretty safe, and uh, percentages match, but Jen has a full stock lead. Nair going to put him right off stage. Let's see if he can capitalize. Shadow Sneak, not going to do it for him. Just going to neutral get up, but the Nair going to catch him. Not going to kill yet. Explosive Flame gets punished. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing. A lot of people are afraid of Explosive Flame. But if the Explosive Flame misses, this is your opportunity to rush Palutena. You have to punish that. If you're a fast faller. Yeah. If you're a floater, fast you're probably not getting down right Quick on soon. the ground. Yeah, Peace can't do anything about that. But Dash Attack going to do it. Rage Dash Attack. But he'll take that. Brings it right back. He'll take that because he was able to take the stock before with the Rage. That's what he needed the rage for. Yep. Certainly benefits Jen right there. Two stocks to one, and yep. Venya in some trouble here if he wants to make it to Grands on winter side. Now you can see him spacing out a lot of uh, his moves, trying trying to stay safe. But Jen, he's in. He's already in. Oh, he was going all out, almost SDs right there. Just I wasn't max sure he wasn't going to SD because the warp, the, um, the teleport uh, up Bs in this game are really funky, man. You hit that stage and you can bounce all the way to the blast zone. That was so well spaced that it was at least close to being safe on parry. Jen at least didn't go for any punish off of it. Mm -hmm. uh, would have had to dash attack or dash grab. I'm not sure exactly if, if one of those would have hit. Mm -hmm. Now you see uh, uh, Jen using a lot of nares kind of to stuff out these aerials. Kind of trying to bait out the approach because Venya will do a lot of aerials falling. So on the way up, right. he can get hit. Well, Greninja yeah. can't really rise with aerial. Like, Greninja doesn't have a good rising aerial outside of, like, in the middle of a combo. Yeah. Like, he can pressure you if you're already in the air, you know, jump up forward air or something like that. Uh, or he can combo into, like, a jump forward air. Uh -huh. But for the most part in neutral, Greninja's not a character that can really, like, jump with a hitbox. Yeah. His aerials are all, like, slow and very low end lag. Yeah. You definitely want to stuff him on the way up. So, yeah, if you can really get in his way and stop him from setting up what he wants to do, which is what Jen is doing right now, that can be a very effective way to shut down Greninja's game plan. Now that was good patience by Venya. He got hit with a little bit of that nair. Uh, a lot of other people would have air dodged right to the ground, and Jen was going to back air him and take the stock. But he yep. was able to stay focused and um, get back safely. Good but guy. he's still sitting at 95%. 144 on Jen with two stocks. He has to take this stock now. Nair not going to do it. And this is a long game. Yeah. We're there at we the five-minute mark. Uh, one stock left each. Uh, and I doubt this is going to time, but just it's so rare that we see a game that Venya's involved in take this long. Yeah. And I mean, not only 95% on him, 103 now, this isn't out of the realm of possibility for Venya. Venya is for sure known to make comebacks. Uh, his movement is great. His defense is great. So back throw, not going to do it. So I'd like to see, I'd like to see him, uh, I'd like to see him do it. Let's see if he can. I think one of the big things is that Greninja, and specifically Venya, is so good in a situation where his back's against the wall because uh -huh. you have to hit him one more time. Yeah. And there's no point, no matter how far ahead you are, where it's easy to hit Greninja. Exactly. Especially Venya, Especially who's Venya. never intimidated. And he but just gets really caught by the nice. falling up air right there. Ven, uh, Jen falling off stage. Mm -hmm. Gets the Palu up air right there to kill. And Jen is going to be moving on to winner side of Grands. Really good. So a very good set. But Jen, oh, that was a great catch right there. Yeah. Just runs off the platform. It falls off stage, so the whole up air comes out. Exactly. And if he would have did rising uh, up air, uh, Venya probably would have been able to make it to the ground safely. Yeah. So. Yeah. Great really stuff to Jen. Man.
And um, that is going to send him on to grand finals. I can definitely it's see why. It's very much not pretty. I can definitely see how that match went, dude. He probably just pocketed so, everything. So, uh, Taker plays Villager. I know he also plays Wii Fit. Uh, he played Fox in Smash 4 along with Villager. He also has an Isabel. Uh, yeah, also playing Isabel. So in this game so far, Villager, Isabel, and Wii Fit. Uh, I don't know if he plays anyone else, but... Uh, the weird character. We've only seen the Villager on stream so far. Uh, played a good set against Venya. Yeah. Venya won it, but it was it was close. Uh, and Sock Taker looks like he knows what he's doing with the new Villager. I don't think the new Villager is super different. Yeah, it looks like Smash 4 HD, honestly. You got Mystery playing Marth and Sock Taker playing Villager. The yeah, same characters are, they played. I think these are two of the characters that changed the least. I mean, there, there are some differences, and the engine just makes it functionally different. Yeah. But these like are Marth's two of the characters that didn't get any like hugely important changes, really. A lot of quality of life things. It's yeah. the tree. Which is even bigger now, apparently. Just Ooh. comes up and hits him there. I mean, trees grow over time, so I, that makes sense. Hey, great back here. That's from a good mystery. point. <laughs> I hadn't thought of it that way. You see him double jump over that Lloyd rocket? You know, like. That was really good. The parry into the roll through the last hit. He knew he would have had to parry again. We're seeing a lot of parries coming from really Stock Taker. I don't you know, know if the second one was intentional. The first one looked intentional. No, they're always Both intentional. Good. Uh, every parry There's no such Sorry. thing as an accidental parry. Let me tell you what. Just like footstools. Every yeah. footstool's on purpose. Oh, yeah. Anything that works in your favor was on purpose. Of course. There he goes. Got him off stage. Bowling ball. There's Ooh, got him. That was good. He'll take that trade any day. He went for a gambit with that neutral B mystery, the shield breaker, but uh, it did not pay off. That plant, that, that plant goes pretty far. You know, you get tri when Villager trips on the platform, like, you got to look out for that projectile. Okay, up air, very smart tool for Mark to use. It's one of his fastest aerials. Dare out shield is, is something Mr. E's using a lot here. That was something that you really almost never saw in Smash 4. There's no reason for it. Uh, down air a lot safer now. If you drift away with it, it's pretty safe on shield a lot of time. Oh, that was really good. He might be able to get this stock here. Oh, good spacing for Mr. E. Great Drifting recovery. away from the bowling ball. And then the immediate jump. He hit him just far enough that he could jump and get away from the tree. Didn't want anything to do with the tree there. And a good punish from the Lloyd as well. And working with an edge guard. Try to get him just with the, one uh, of the balloons. Yeah. Unfortunately, couldn't get both of them. Looking for that stage spike. Edge guard opportunity for Mr. E. The thing is, Villager's recovery can be so tricky because he sends a Lloyd Rocket. Ooh. I mean, if you just Dolphin Slash him, like, good night. This was a matchup that uh, Villager certainly struggled with in Smash 4. Not to the level of something like Cloud or some of the other char sword characters, but certainly it was not an easy matchup. Uh, it certainly looks to be sort of the same idea where Marth can get to the range he wants to yeah. fairly easily because Villager's so good at keeping you, you know, at a set distance. But Marth doesn't really mind being at that distance, and it's almost within his strike zone, really. The joke in Smash Wii U is that Villager died to DLC. Oh, for sure. Yeah, because Villager Terrible was Terrible matchups with, uh, with uh, Mewtwo, Corrin, Cloud, and Bayo. Uh, the only non-DLC characters that really gave him a lot of trouble were uh, Palu and you know, Marcina to a degree. Nair out of shield. Okay, good. Mystery playing patient, but that's one chop on the tree. Just rolls out of there. Mystery is a brave man. He does that out of the Lloyd right there, but he got it on the tree. 72.8% uh, deficit when the stock is taken there. We'll see if Stock Taker can live up to his name here on the last stock of game one, though. Okay, just goes for the Dolphin that Slash to avoid the Lloyd Rocket. That was a good option. This is That's why this has always been a great stage for Marth in every game. Yeah, allows him to mix up reason. where he's going to land. He's got tons of platforms to play with. And your up B goes just above the height of the top platform, so unless you're already ready to punish it, yeah. very hard to punish him up being to the top platform. 150%. Ooh, that the back tipper air. back air. Yes. Didn't even need to be tipper, honestly. Probably not, but that move always seems to tipper. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So here we go. Game one, going to Mr. E, stock taker with the counter pick, and Mr. E. Mr. E's Marth just uh, speaking English. What is he doing, man? Like. It's, it's disconcerting. I, what I, happened I was to your culture, dog? I was saying earlier, though, I am proud of him. He finally learned. He finally learned English. It's been a long time. Cloud needs to take a book out of that, man. Like, all right, so we got Kalos Switching and Switching up Town. to uh, PS2 for this game. We'll see if he sticks with the villager. He is, okay. Sticking with this villager, too. I have to question that. I always wanted to talk to him about like his his opinion on Isabel versus Villager because I know that very I, similar. I heard characters. him last week saying that he thinks uh, Villager is a lot better. Mm -hmm. uh, just like overall, he thinks that Villager has a lot more advantages than Isabel does. But Isabel is like a but cute little dog. Yes, like you could have that. Isabel is also she's a has the advantage of being adorable. Yes, she's a pupper. Some of the Villagers are. I would have to disagree on this specific color. Uh, yeah, th this one scares me, dude. This is not what I would call adorable. Look at her eyes. That's that's what I mean. Is that yeah. a girl? Yes. Okay. 
<laughs> it, it could have been a potential to go for that down air spike, but going off. Ooh. Industry's having trouble catching him, but it does not matter. He's still maintaining stage control. Good air dodge. And the up he's going to take it, though. Oh, and Mystery, Mystery jumped back on that was, one. Yeah, I was going to mention, life. he actually, like, that's my favorite thing about Mystery as a game, as a player, is that, like, he just, like, he gets so into it. He feels those hits. My oh, man yeah. is playing with Rumble on, I tell you what. He really flows with the game and with his character. Plays entirely based off of, like, how he feels, you know, what's going to be right in a situation. You see right Mar there, good punish. Mystery capitalizing on his walk speed. Marth having one of the fastest walks in the game. It was the fastest in Smash 4. I don't know if that's still yeah. true. But certainly up Ooh. there. Cop of that slingshot. His traps are getting set, set by Stock Taker. Oh, but then he flubbed it. Now Mystery stole stage control. Flipping the tables on him. Sweet Spot back air is going to take that now. They made back air a little bit slower. Also, Sweet Spot a little bit stronger. Uh, just to distinguish forward air and back air a little bit. They're not exactly the same move anymore. And he's just at 43 now. Just throw a tree at him. Don't don't mess with tree. Just pro tip. It supplies for, you oxygen, bro. For anyone, oh, there's a fruit over there, by the way. If anyone wants to heal two percent, yeah, very low there percent chance. There is no way Mystery's gonna go for that. Yeah, like I would. Even then, he's not picking it up. He didn't. Dude, he, come on, oh, man. He's not even focused on it. Let him do his stage control thingy. Oh. Yeah, it disappeared. That's was, unfortunate. Was not, we see it was so not, rarely. Was not an optimal thing to go for. Oh, not at all. But he did walk right past it. The dash attack looking like an accident, but give him some room to breathe. 157% on Stock Taker. He watered that from so far away. That is a big old water right there. Psychic water. All right, 169% off stage. Mystery looking for an edge guard. A lot Ooh, of rolling on the stage. Roll. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the second time he's gotten away with that. Like, good up here right there. Yeah, that just, he's gonna take the stock. So Stock Taker on his last stock here. Oh no. Brave man goes for instant roll. Stock Taker, I think, flubbed that. I think it was supposed to be a short hop. Probably. You can, you usually, can cover that with up tilt yeah, pretty easily. You usually plant that tree so it forces the roll. And then he didn't capitalize on it. Maybe he was expecting a jump. Right. Or probably, you know, maybe not going for up tilt since it's not a percent where it'll kill yet. Yeah. But still, we'll put them back in disadvantage. Yes, there we go. Mystery. Axe would be ideal if you can get that, of course. Oh, air dodges right through the up air. Mr. E. I like the idea with the option coverage there. Up tilt just misses. Mr. E drifts towards the middle of the stage. Gets the super forward air again, spacing it away as he drifts back. Fade away. Ooh, he just like moonwalked in there with a grab. I really like Marth's new forward it. throw animation. It's the same for Lucina and a couple of the sorties. Sort of like push you forward with their elbow. They shove you, dude. Yeah, really cool looking animation. It's like, get out of my way. Oof. That would yeah. have hurt a lot. But yeah. instead, Stock Taker is going to take the second stock there. That would with have been the back the set. Throw. That would have been the set. Oh, for sure. But here we go. Put some off stage. Off 123, stage. a potential ending of the game. Punishes the Nair on hit there. Mystery is so good at fading away those forwarders. He can make sure he gets the tipper swings. The only ledge option he's been able to get away with is rolling. And that is the only thing that Mystery is not consistently punished every time. It doesn't even give him the chance to mix up where he's going to land. Just goes up and charges against here. him. This is all of a sudden a pretty close game. And the bowling ball almost kills him. The Mystery in some troubles now. Troll now. The momentum coming from Stock Taker currently is out of this world. Gets pushed off. Sends Does the Lloyd Rocket. Lloyd. Once he Gets just away with rolling, and he had a Lloyd there to cover it as well, so good option that time. Has him off stage again. Mystery looking for this And ending. I think one really interesting adaptation, Stock Taker has picked up on the fact that Mystery is double jumping every time he Lloyds to wait it out, so he's just immediately drifting back to stage along with it so that he lands while Mystery is still in the air. But now Mystery, 112%, just needs one good swing to end this, but Stock Taker's not letting him breathe. He needs his double jump. And a sweet spot back here from Villager will kill at this point, but the up throw will take it from Mr. E, and that will knock Stock Taker out uh, with a very good finish tonight, though. Fourth place. So good job from Stock Taker tonight. Yeah, and made this game, too, really close. At 142 players, like, that's a, that's a, that's a big deal. Yeah. But Mystery's going to move on to Losers Finals to face off against the man who sent him to Losers, Venia. That'll be fun. That was a really good set in winners. Uh, they're hopping on right now. Uh, right, stream. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for making that get very salty. Uh, no, thank you. Oh my God! Thank you everybody for all these subscriptions. Uh, it means a lot. We're, we're definitely. I think we've passed uh, our email goal. So nice. Woo! We're gonna give away a pin or something. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. Oh my God. We'll give away something. We'll find something. Anyway, oh, we are actually starting on Smashville, so I don't know what went wrong. Uh, but this is where we're gonna be for game one. Probably just a controller flub. All right, here we go. 
So right off the bat, Venny has dominated the stage control. <laughs> How did that? What? I don't know. With that save that replay, Devin. I want to see that. That looked like some early Smash Four Marth things, where there's just a hole in the middle of your sword. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what that was. That was very strange. Yeah, I mean, it, it is made of water, so maybe some funky stuff can happen. That's but, true. But here we go. We, we're moving on. 87 to 68. Fine. So, right, you're going to see, a lot, like I said, a lot of hops coming out from both players trying to space out their aerial attacks. Venia at this point would look for a neutral air to try to convert that into like a potential back air or forward air, depending on which way he's facing. Yeah, we saw a lot of near forward air conversions uh, last set between these two. Side B, going to catch Venya right there. As I mentioned, Venya does not shield a whole lot. You only see him shield sort of when he's between movements, and then he'll go right back to moving most of the time. If it's rare could, to see Venya sitting in shield. If he could, Zyvon, he would uninstall his R button. Absolutely. Or just map it to something else. Yeah. Have more jump buttons. There we go. Back Have air. more forward air buttons. Backer coming out from Mr. E to take away that first stock, but that down tilt's going to set him up. Nair is completely safe on shield. Mr. E tries to shield grab it there. And you'll notice that Venya will go off so deep every single time because he knows he'll get back to the stage safe and sound. And I think that's also a matchup dependent thing. We saw him not do that quite to the same level against Villager. You know, he would go off with a shadow sneak, but he would he would recover quickly instead of just go, staying out there as long as possible since he knew there was an option that would kill him. And you know what? Mr. E's bringing this back. You know, he may have lost the first set to Venya, but he is starting off this game strongly. Still living at 137%. Goes for the air dodge, but... That was really good. Yeah, got just set up Just the water completely. up there to stall him after the air dodge, then punches the end lag eventually with a back air. Gave him a little bath. Also, an interesting thing to note, uh, so the end lag on directional air dodges is based on the distance you fall. So I wonder if Greninja's water does anything to that. Just an interesting thing that I, I don't know the answer to, but I'll have to look that up later or check it out. All right, here we go. Mr. E's got him at 91. Forward tilt trying to catch that ledge jump. But Venny is just swerving in and out, catching these dash attacks. He's a very slippery character to try to catch against. Like once, I said, once Venny gets moving, it's just so hard to catch him. That's what Light was talking about earlier when he beat double limited Light last week. Right. He, Light was commenting about how like he couldn't keep up with Venny, which is the first time he's ever felt like he got outsped. Yeah, I, you, know, you never see Light not be Flustered, fast enough. Yeah. Uh, that's sort of his thing. But yeah, Venya's so good at that, and his character is so good at that in this game. Fantastic but trade Mr. for Mystery. E with the trade, with the forward tilt there. Oh, Neutral trying to get that forward air afterwards. You see him just desperately trying to find the smash attack. I would have liked to see a uh, run up down smash there to cover either drift right there. I think that option would have covered more things there. Down I'm not used there. to Marth's being a good move again. That's, that's a scary thing. I've been talking about that tonight. It is. That spike is active, dude. Also uh, has a lot of combo potential now since you can't tech grounded spikes. Good Counters. counter. I mean, that it was, is his turn. Honestly, that was a reaction. Yeah. I mean, he's playing an RPG technically. He comes from a tactical one, so. Oh, yeah, a lot of counters coming out for Mr. E, recognizing that Venny is getting a little aggressive. Off stage, avoids the shuriken, rolls right behind him, connects that grab, has him off stage again, 80%. That was a really good roll because Venny was sort of trying to force him to shield that ledge. Sort of, you know, he was he was getting up through the shuriken, and I think uh, Mr. E was supposed to, in Venya's mind, stay there and shield. Uh, he rolls through, catches Venya right there. Venya does end up taking that stock, but an 80.7% 80 point, 80 deficit here. And Venya was definitely trying to get that up throw to kill. Maybe doesn't have the percents known as he did, as he did in the past game, but right, it is all still now. got the up air afterwards. So that's all you can, all you need. Okay. A little bit too far away to connect that fourth swing. Great DI from Venya, just backing away from it. Now he's got to be careful. If he gets one good read. Now, what's actually interesting is that Mr. E is not going for forward smash hardly ever in this game. Doesn't need it. Was what? that a down air? Wow. Down air almost killing off the side. Off the side. Up he had a shield. Not quite going to kill. Next one will probably kill yeah. if it's anywhere near, near ledge. Then he opted to go for the double jump to just try to get him away from the blast zone ever so slightly. But he's at maximum rage, 156%. Looking for this up air. E coming in with the neutral air himself. Down tilt. Try to send him up for the up smash. Almost not quite able to find him quite yet. He's Where's chasing the air dodge, though, and that will not quite take it. The oh, early up B, he might catch good him. Good night. Yep. The early him. up B gets splashed right there by the water box or wind box or whatever it is of Greninja's up B right there. So Venya making the comeback in game one here, and he will go up 1 0. Now, what was actually smart right there was that Venya capitalized on Mystery not having his double jump. So that's exactly. why he went all in with that forward air. Either to force the air dodge or get caught by it. And the second Mystery was knocked away, there was no way for him to like survive that because he had to, commit, sure. to, he had to commit to the up B. And the second he committed to it, splashed away. Take a shower. That, that's strange because Mystery literally had to lead that whole game. For sure.
But once Venya gets rolling on one stock, it is so hard to stop him. Part We're getting me, a return pick to Smashville here. I'm going to be real with you, Zyvon. Part of me was kind of hoping Mystery would make it to Grand Finals and put up a fight against Jen. Because Mystery's been, like, not doing so hot in the Xeno series as he's been doing in the past, especially, like, in the past game. And I want to see Mystery come back into his, like, his golden days back in the Smash 4, you know? Of course. So this could be, like, his potential to try to get something moving. And right now, you know, he's got that little bit of stage pressure. So it's a good start going straight back to Smashville, huh? Okay, dash tag a little bit too greedy. Holding on to that shield to get the free shield grab afterwards. Okay, just going to hold shield through there. Kind of just letting him get back on stage for free, but he's still playing insanely careful. Good back air out of shield right there. 90 to 8 so far. Mr. E looking very comfortable this first stock, but I think this is what we have to see from Marth. You know, I think Marth has, uh, you know, has a lot of good, like, ledge trapping and juggling. But it is very hard for Mars to just sort of hit you once and take your whole stock. Venya's a nut! That was insane. He went for a down air off stage. And he got it. He always does that. Yeah. It's just like, he's bonkers. It's it not, works. It's not worth the trade. He got like a little bit of damage off of it. If he whipped, he died. But did he die? Okay, but like... That's it was not, worth. That's not the point. Oh, I completely agree with you, but it's Venya, so it doesn't count. I get it. <laughs> okay, forward throw. Get him off stage. 149. Goes for the great tech. tech. The thing is, Venya knew up he throw. was going. He's dead. Not quite. No not going throw. for it yet. I Doesn't want to stale it since it's so much weaker. It's just, it's really not a great kill throw. So, I mean, at I mean, this point, it'll sure. kill. Yeah, at this point, it should kill. It could be decayed like crap if you get that kill. Come on, look, looking for that grab. Venya is very aware. That's why he's dancing around the shield this time. Venya is up there for hardest player to grab that I've ever seen. You know, when he does hit your shield, it's with something very safe. Like neutral air. A lot of like a neutral air, space forward air. Neutral is just like safe on shield in general. I don't think it can be shield. And by it anyone. combos into a there kill, ladies and gentlemen. Venia bringing it back, even though he was losing that entire stock. But and now it's tied. Two to two. Okay, gonna get that rapid jab to push him back off. Now you see, notice that Venia will just charge with that shuriken just to like cover some space. Drags oh, him down. Jabs the wrong way. That was a jab lock setup right there from Venia. He would have uh, got the down up there. He's out of jumps. Benny is capitalizing. Great counter right there. And he goes for the Shadow yeah. Sneak off stage. Venya taking the second stock right there, and suddenly he's got a huge lead out of nowhere. There we go, up air. Shadow Sneak is very good in this game. It can catch a lot of people off guard. It it's can very combo. quick. You can't see the shadow off stage. Of course, that's not a new thing, but. Can't see the shadow off stage. It's worth it. Worth pointing out. He parries Brave the parry. shield breaker. Beautiful parry right there. Okay, looking for these down airs. Pushes them off stage. Potential edge guard. It's a little bit too low. The problem is, Mystery's thinking Benny is going to be a little bit higher, but he drops so fast right. that it's hard to like react to his recovery. Well, Greninja just moves so fast in every direction. He's fast on the ground, moves pretty quickly. Uh, he he's, he's falls very fast, very high fall speed. He's able to just move from one point to another faster than pretty much anyone in a lot of situations. And he goes for the counter there. Kicks him down into the side. He kept putting E in the exact wow. same situation over and over with that counter. Managed to get the kill another time with it. And Venny is going to go on to try to get the run back against Jen. Now, these two have a little history in the past literally week. <laughs> Let's make moves. They fought for uh, right. 13th place, I believe it was. And, and Jen won that. Yeah, Jen won it, sending Venia at 13th at Let's Make Moves, where he had to move on to beat JG, uh, GWJ, or Big Dick Billy. Right. And, yeah. Including this one. So that not was beautifully only... done just in time. Professional caster Austin LaVista right Stop here. It. Smashville. Here we go. Here we go. Thank you guys for tuning in tonight here on House of 3000. I'm Zyvon. This is Austin, And this is Grand Finals between Venia and Jen. Palutena and Greninja here, starting off on Smashville. You know, some trying to apply some shield pressure with those forward airs, trying to drift away a little bit to just attack that shield at a safe distance so he can't get a grab. And Venya has so much momentum from that last set that Jen is like, wait, hold on, I'm not warmed up. Give me a second. My last set was like Ooh. an hour ago. <laughs> Let me breathe. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That, that's stuck. We did see a lot of that in the last set, one way or the other, really. Uh, Venya just so quick once he starts getting one or two conversions. Really keeps you in a bad situation. And he, he ends his combos in a way where you have to guess or else he'll just hit you again. 
Benny also being the last week's winner of, you know, taking double limiting lights and just taking home. So he wants to try to win the second sure. one in a row. We have yet to have a double winner at Zeno. So Benny is definitely trying Who to play the first title. One? Uh, Sinji. Right. So it's Sinji, yeah. then Nixie, then Benny. And this is the fourth one. So Jen's looking to be the new champion. Let's see if he can try to, like, do this. But right now, getting overlapped in percent. Benny looking for that kill confirm off of Dash Attack. They somehow made Dash Attack even better. That was already a pretty good move. It's, Down throw, looking for the back air. Not going to find it. Almost hit by the Nair forward air right there. Not quite going to hit. Okay, now, you'll notice that a lot that Jen's jumping at a shield. It's a pretty... It's one of the strongest options in Ultimate compared to, like, the pass game instead of, like, going right. for, like, a roll or something. And uh, sometimes Venya's trying to capitalize on that. That was beautiful. That's what I've been looking for from Venya. I've been hoping he would do that on situations where someone's recovering the stage and they can drift one way or the other because we saw him miss a couple of forward smashes. That time he runs up against the down smash. That was perfectly placed where it could cover every option. It was a masterpiece. Exactly. Couldn't have said it any better myself. They dash attack for forward air. Dude, Venya's looking for a three stock, honestly. There we go. Back throw's not going to kill at this percent. It, it almost close. did. It almost made me eat my own words, but... Jen looking for the up air. That doesn't really catch going back onto the stage, but it does catch right in that situation there where it's below the stage. And I notice that Venny's going to try to stay middle ground now because he's at the point where if he gets grabbed again, back throw will kill at the edge. So this is also something we were pointing out earlier uh, with Palutena. Uh, she's very strong at max range, like all the way across the stage. She's very strong at super close quarters. In between, there's a zone where she kind of struggles, and that's where Venya's going to really want to move around. Oh. He went for it. I don't... He's got three stocks to play with. I don't with. know if I agree with that one, but it's probably it's not going to cost fine. him. It's <laughs> fine. Like, normally, I don't agree with Venya's options because he's a nut, but like, <laughs> yeah, three stocks. It's fine. Let him let him have fun. He looks like he's having a really good time. Just like watching the Wigger Ninjas moving around the screen here. Okay, neutral air going to combo into neutral air. going to combo into neutral. Okay. It was back not that quite. time. That, I, I, he was thinking rage, it. He was thinking it. Politan has neutral air is a rule. Really good move, but not good enough to avoid that forward air. Uh, and a two-stock right there in game one from Venya. So Venya looking to be the back-to-back -back Xeno champion here. Uh, still in loser side, has to get the reset here, but it's off to a good start. So, yeah, like I said, one game away. Can he actually get this reset, or is Jen playing him? I mean, yeah, I, he's technically playing him right now. I, I get he, that. They are, in fact, playing yeah, each other, yes. But I, meant, no, I, I, I get but, what you mean. Okay. I got, I got you. I redact yeah. that statement. Here we go. Game two. <laughs> Going straight back to Smashville. We're going back to Smashville. Honestly, I don't think they even banned anything. I think they're just like, let's just go back. They like the stage. They missed it. Ooh, try to go for that grab. I, I don't believe anyone can shield grab Greninja's Nair. Uh, I've seen a lot of people go for it tonight. I've seen everyone fail. It's I mean, so. it's a safe aerial attack. It's safe yeah. on shield. You shouldn't be going for it. And Jen also with shield learn. grabs be specifically being nerfed now compared to Smash Four. Yeah, certainly not something you want to see. You want to go for it if too you often. whiff that, like you're gonna get you're gonna eat something. Okay, neutral air. Jen looking really good at the start of this game. Now you'll notice that he's putting out the explosive flames like that because he's trying to force out the double jump from Venia. Yeah, if you can get the double jump or the air dodge out of that, it's always helpful. But in that situation, we see it's less effective against fast fallers. You know, as a floaty it, working against that, your best option is just to avoid it somehow. But as Greninja, what Venya's able to do is just double jump and then land with an aerial, and he's sometimes able to hit him out of it. Oh my lord, Jen looking for a way back to the stage. He drifted back because he knew Venya was going to be hungry. Still playing extremely patient, holding on to his double jump that entire that was, time. That was really good. I did not think he had a jump, and he gets the first stock with the up air right there. Great stuff from Jen. Trying to hold on to the winner's bracket side here. Okay, teleports back to the medium stage. Rapid Jab's gonna send him off again. See if Jen can try to attack on as much damage as he can, but he tacked on zero! It's, it's gone! An even game, two stocks apiece right here on Smashville. Set that down till again? Venya playing, spacing his attacks extremely well. Notice him drifting back with those forward air, so it literally hits the tipper. So it's, it's hard for Jen to try to get a punish on that. Right, we saw him start to parry those a lot in the end of the last set. Uh, I'd like to see him go for the, those again if he can, because he was able to get some punishes on it. Not significant, but, you know, a forward tilt, a grab. Just able to make Ven uh, make Venya think a lot before he throws out something on the shield. And those aerials are all so safe on shield if you're not able to parry them. Okay. Venya trying to play safe. 
Chilling back, throwing out shurikens. I think this is Venya changing the tempo of the game. This for is sure, this is rare for him. He talked about it like a, about a year ago where he started to do it for the first time because he's always been like the aggro Greninja. For but sure. It, but he's learned how to like go off and on and it can like actually mess with people. But Jen's going to capitalize on it. Hold on a second. That was a great conversion right there from Jen. Punish? I think he can up smash that. Doesn't but he matter. goes with the down throw back air and that is going to take the stock. So Jen with the lead here in game two. Literally picking his poison. Yeah. Palu down throw setups, not a lot of true confirms all the time, but some really effective 50-50s. Yep. What is true is those three neutral airs into forward air. For sure, that, yeah, is, that is guaranteed. Low percent, like you're just going to go for a ride. Ooh, just in case Vinny wanted to get yeah. antsy and go for an immediate double jump, like there was a spike with his name on it. I like that because there was no risk to it. He did it early enough that it, it covered something, but there was no risk, and he was able to get back in ledge trap early enough without giving up stage control. Ooh. Down tilt fair, not going to kill all the way across stage yet, though. And an early warp, I like that. Not going to mess around yeah. with getting upbeat or you know, getting back aired out in the blast zone, getting it, shadow sneak, as we've seen Venny go for. It messed up Venny's timing. Oh. oh, he's dead. Oh, he, I mean, that was a good evasion, not going to lie. Yeah, Jen he tried. almost caught the ledge. I, I, like, I like it. It was worth a shot. I respect the attempt. Now, this is an interesting situation right here because we've seen how quickly Venya can delete a stock. But Jen is pretty firmly in control, and he's been playing very well this whole game. Neutral good air. air shield. And that's something really important against Greninja. Against a character like Greninja, who has so many safe aerials on shield, but no real threat of a rising aerial, uh, you really want to go for them early in their jump. If you can stuff out their jumps at the startup, you'll have a lot more success than trying to punish their shields. Hold on. Oh, I saw it. Did you it. see him go for Shadow Sneak oh, yeah. that deep? Just in case he wanted to end the game that early. It would have killed. It would have. That's why Jen opted to go high. That was beautiful right Down there. He's been throwing tilt. out the explosive flame, and he's seen that Venya's coming over and trying to punish with the landing aerial. So he throws it out really early that time, so that he's already out of it by the time Venya lands. He's able to low profile a hit with the down tilt. The down tilt's able to kill, and that sends us to a game three. Jen is one game away from winning. Potential final game. If uh, Venya wins this, we have a bracket reset. We have to play yet another best two of three. And if Jen wins, that's just the tournament. And by the way, a lot of people ask why we don't do best three of five in finals. It's because it's we, we want to go home. <laughs> we want to, we, 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 we work. <laughs> we have to wake up in the morning. Go! Town and city, here we go. <laughs> uh, Jen versus Greninja. Venya versus Palu. Who will rise on top? Okay, gonna avoid those uh, little mini shurikens. No one really wants to make that first move just yet, trying to like play as safe as possible, but Venya's getting in there, slide in with those dash attacks. Getting them DMs. Okay, grab, talks him, drags him down, oh. try to read the getup. Jab's the wrong way right there. That could have been her jab lock setup again. Good punish from Jen right there. Ooh, the high up air, not quite gonna kill, but a lot of damage. Yeah, Jen loves going for those dash attacks, man. It's got a little bit of, like, a block on it, too, because it is, it is uh, her shield. The shield is invincible on dash attack and back air. If you hit any part of it, uh, you will lose. Good warp cancel. Get back to stage right there. Those are very easy to space when you're just in neutral and just moving around. Very hard to space coming at a disadvantage. You notice that Jen is that turning beautiful. up the heat because he knew that Venia was out of jumps. And, and he, he was he, playing so aggressive. And he read that he wasn't going to side B. Because early, early on, he was respecting the side B a lot. He was shielding at ledge and letting Venya get back for free with the up B. Now, he, he called out that Venya was not going to shadow sneak to ledge. And instead, he just goes for the down tilt to, to two frame. I like that warp. Get yeah, down there, just get out of the way. And that, that platform was going bye-bye, so he had to jump out of there right there. Here we go, down air. Ooh, down air. I like that. Really good option select right there. Auto reticle? I, I mean, I guess. It covers some things. It's a good move now. I've never seen a Palu do auto reticle in disadvantage state, but okay. It's a real thing you can do now in this game. I've seen Jen use it once in a while. Um, you know, it was not an option in Smash 4, really. Oh. Up till, I mean, good Palu wasn't right an there. option in Smash 4, but. I know, I know. Back throw, <laughs> get him out of here. Oh, we live in still. Reflects the shuriken right back at him. She's having none of that. Yeah. Palu's having none of that in Smash, but she'll, she'll have to take that. will eventually kill, but a 65% lead. Pretty good lead for Jen here as he looks to win Xeno for the first time in Ultimate. Of course, would not be his first time ever. He did win in Smash 4 a couple times. He's saying at 65%, gets knocked away. And I think we've seen him like anti-air a bit more. He's he's jumping up and neutral airing, or he's up tilting before Venya can land with an aerial. Good tech right there. And that has led to a lot more success as Venya just sneaks under that down tilt right there. 
down Ooh, the smash. high recovery and the down smash covers it. He Jen read not even able warp. to get to the far side. He read that warp so hard and now he's taking the stock lead. Let's see if Jen can try to close this out as soon as possible. We're about to see a bracket reset. Playing the evasion game. Definitely wants that grab. Trying to play pressure with that back air. Think some of that shield. Back air just catches the jump. Go Jen getting caught off stage. Venny is looking to close it out. And at this point, uh, the damage is really starting to build up to the point where even if Jen takes the stock, he's at a significant disadvantage. Back air almost killing there. He threw out that explosive flame, forcing Venny to back away. Oh, and he nasty. misses the warp. I'd really like to see Jen go for Nair on the falling down aerial right there. He was going for a back air stage spike. We've seen him go for spikes as well with down air. Uh, neutral air covers so many options if they're straight below the stage like that. And Venya would have to go all the way around, you know, right, like upright and then up left to get back, which he might have been too low to do. Uh, so I, I would really like to see more Nair off stage. Uh, it also is more consistent in letting you recover. Uh, you don't SD as often if you go for that in the same way. So we're getting a reset here. So welcome to True Finals. This is Venya against Jen. I'm Zyvon. This is Osti. It's almost 1 a.m. So, we got one more set for you. True finals. My word. I always like saying that. It's like the real boss. This is the first bracket reset we've had in Smash Ultimate. Really? You know? Yeah. I don't think cool. we've ever had one. This should be exciting. Wait, no. I think John upset. Uh, reset the bracket against Sinji. Because I remember I was really mad about that. Anyways, uh, <laughs> here we go. 76% on Jen. Great parry coming out from Jen. Not getting too much off of it, though. Oh, that was interesting. I'm not usually see it, used to seeing something trade with Palu Dash Attack. And you'll notice that Jen likes to like jump onto that platform and dash through it to avoid that shuriken on the main stage. Neutral air cannot confirm into an up smash. Again, Look Jen going for the back air there in a situation where Nair, I think, would have covered a lot of options. Back air would beat out specifically placed hitboxes, but he loses uh, loses because he was not able to catch Venya out of his jump first there. Every single time and Venya does first a stock. Every single time uh, Venia does a Hydro Pump off stage, he's doing it to try to mess up with the opponent's recoveries. You notice that Jen was trying to go for that double jump, and the second he did it, he went up way too high. He set up perfectly where he had no choice but to go for an air dodge because he, he didn't have his jump. So Venia really smart with those uh, up B placements. Okay. Back air catches the ledge option. Explosive Flame forcing him to recover high, and he whiffs the forward tilt. Didn't expect him to fly that far. Slippery Frog. Mm -hmm. Down tilt. Catches the double jump. He didn't have a double jump there. Yeah. I like the decision to immediately warp, not get edge guarded. He still takes a punish, but doesn't die to it yet. Warps back to stage. Again, we see a dash attack trade. I'm not sure how that works. And the down tilt up smash is going to take it. Venya up two stocks here in game one of True Finals. Jen is losing steam. Like, he was in so total control this entire tournament until grand finals. And now Venya has found his mojo and is working it. And Venya is looking dominant right now. See if you can get the kill off of this. Forward air, not quite going to take it. And Explosive Flame yep. catches the side B. So, good catch right there from Jen, but still down an entire stock here in game one. Yeah, one to two stocks. Like, Jen needs a power play or a miracle at this point. Take away this game. You know, if he can hit one of those spikes, it is possible. Palutena does have the ability to take quick stocks sometimes, but... Oh, we went for it right there. I like that play. Almost caught the uh, the shuriken throw right there, but Venya delays in the air a little when he tosses the shuriken. I'm using Venya and Greninja interchangeably. I, I think they're that's the pretty same clear. Being. Same thing. Uh, <laughs> Neutral air. Double nair. I've seen that in general when he gets the double nair, he's usually not able to combo out of the second one. Oh, that was very good right there. Oh, uh, he did not jab. want the punish. That was unfortunate. That, yeah, he finished that the jab. That could have been a forward smash or a down smash. I don't know how that missed. But that will not miss right there, the down tilt up smash. And that is a two stock for Venya. But last set, we saw Venya get a two stock and then lose game two. So either he could run away with this and win it, you know, 2 0 in a quick set, or we'll see a very close set like last time. Will Jen bring it back? That is the question. Because the did thing a few is, minutes ago. I 100% I, I believe it is cap uh, Jen has the capability to oh, bring this the back. Wario. And, and, oh, I like this. Wait. So apparently he went uh, like some Palu, some Wario at a tournament uh, last week and did really well. Won a tournament uh, somewhere else in New York. Um, and he's been working on Wario. He played Wario earlier in early rounds of bracket today. These kids are just so he is switching inspired. around to the Wario here. You know, Wario has won two majors. 
Yes, yes. They're just so I can't believe I'm saying that, but I love that I'm saying that. All right, here we go. Smashville, game number one. I'm surprised he doesn't want a bigger stage with Wario, but um, he's going to be going for Smashville here. Wario is definitely improved in close quarters combat, but I think he still likes having the ability to platform camp when he has to. Good read right there. That neutral air is active for so long now because they, they realized how much of a problem the hitbox was in Smash 4, so they made it, made it work now. There he goes for the back air off of the ledge. Down tilt to wow. just nick that recovery. Now, this is the thing, like, I don't know if Venia has Wario matchup experience in this game. I don't know who he could have played. There's not a lot of them. The ones that there are are doing very well. So I, I like the idea from Jen. And it's, it looks like it's working out pretty well so far. He looks very comfortable. I like the down air right there. That will kill. Uh, it sends to whatever side you're on. So it'll stage spike or it'll just kill off the side. Uh, it's pretty strong. Yeah. Pretty big hitbox. Beats out a lot of recovery. Certainly Greninja's with no hitbox on top of it. That was beautiful Ooh. right there. Falls out of the downer though. Unfortunate for uh, Jen right there. At this point, you know. Lives the down tilt forwarder though. Doesn't connect. Jen's gonna be looking for those forward tilts, a little booty smack. Try to like send him flying, but catches the up air. Looking for the down air, not gonna be able to down air through. And Venya will take the first stock. Uh, full walk to be on in about 12 seconds. This is one of those things where it's like when you play multiple characters, it, it can be like, are you making the right choice counter picking? You don't want to second guess yourself. Sure. You just want to like go with it. And this is something that Jen needs to just believe that his Wario can actually do this. But I think that's also an important thing in Ultimate is there's so many characters now that I think it's important. You know, I think it's not necessarily important that you have to have an extra character. But I think it is beneficial in a lot more situations than it ever has been before. Now, here is the reason why players have been playing Wario. It's because of the waft. You see him glowing yellow, that means his waft is fully charged. If he gets one read, one little slip up, you're done for. This, that can be a tech chase, it can be an up tilt even. I believe up tilt just combos into it. I know it combos into half waft, I don't know about full waft on every situation yet. Okay, gonna get back but to the stage. He's got confirms into it for sure. He's also got uh, you know, the ability to tech chase at any point in time, just immediately hit a waft. And at this point, Jen's probably just gonna hold on to it for the next stock, because he's already got Venny at 63. You wanna save that for when you get a kill at like 40. But it does, the thing is, if you do use it here. Oh, we did it for it! Oh, we went for it, so we lost it there. So we used it just before 420 on the clock uh, remaining. Uh, half waft will recharge in 55 seconds, full waft in a minute 50. Uh, half waft, probably better than full waft in most respects. It is obviously a little bit weaker. Um, but it, it is faster and combos out of more things. Uh, so that'll probably charge up before this game ends, unless it ends very quickly. Trying to get that roll a little bit too soon Not with that back air. You notice he double jumps to escape the follow-up. Got herself a little moment there to get everyone back to away from the stage. And a four air will kill. Uh, and... Jan, oh, not staying on the platform the whole time. If you're playing Wario, always stay on the platform the whole time. Charge is waft. Okay, now we got Venia sitting at two stocks. 100%. Looking for the smack. Jen is not far behind, though. And Wario with a great comeback factor with the waft. Half waft is already almost back online. It'll be on in a few seconds. Dash attack to push him off. And dash attack at this point could, be, could potentially kill. Venia looking to try to combo him. And the slap right there. A booty smack. There it is. Jen bringing this to last stock at least here. This is a very close game here. Game number two. Daniel looking for this opening, throwing out a bunch of neutral layers to try to get this combo started against Wario, but he's not really having luck. And the longer this match goes on, the more beneficial it's going to be towards Jen. Absolutely. Wario, a character that benefits from the clock running. Regardless of whether he's in the league or not, in the lead or not, just if the clock is running and Wario does not yet have full waft charged, he is getting some sort of benefit from it. Uh, full waft will be on in about 15 seconds or so. Uh, you'll see him start glowing there. He already has half waft, which will kill in the relatively near future if he gets it near the edge of the stage. Ooh, okay, Wario good bike. on the bike right there. Just to get back to center stage. Not worth eating the bike right there, though. Uh, you want to eat the bike sometimes just to get rid of it so you have a recovery sooner. Go ahead and start off that bike cooldown, which they made a lot longer in this game. Um, oh, he's got full waft right there. He's looking for it. Oh, that was a roll. He could have done it. Didn't feel it in his bones. 122%. Jen, looking for it. Got the oh, wop, and he it. whiffs it. That Venya could, rolls out of the way. That and spelled, the air. That spelled the we'll entire take it. tournament right there. The second he whiffed that fart, like that was pretty much Venia's tournament. So there we go. Venia, that will do it. Venia winning his second Xeno in a row, making the comeback.
towards Ooh, Venya. so close. First off of Zeno, and then at Let's Make Moves. Finally gets the win against Jen, forcing the counter pick and even beat the counter pick. Yeah, took down the Wario. The Wario looking really good. Uh, just losing out on that last interaction right there. Uh, but good to see Jen making such a great run today. He's been so solid these last couple weeks early on in this game uh, with the top eight at Let's Make Moves. And then, of course, second place today. Great showing, but Venya, back-to-back Xeno champion. First oh, one of Ultimate. Big Tofu, thanks for that sub. But guys, it's been fun, but we're not going to go away just yet because we're going to get an interview with Venya. So once again, uh, this is Zyvon. My name's Ossie, but we'll be Follow right... Follow us on Twitter. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere.